Hello everyone and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. In one of my last videos I introduced you to Ginny, a completely free alternative to Marvelous Designer, to create custom cloth for your metahumans. But when it comes to shoes, the Ginny asset will not work on a metahuman. So today I will show you an easy way to make any shoes work inside the Creator plugin and even make them resizable to fit any MetaHuman. Because the MetaHuman Creator plugin allows you to add multiple cloth assets, you can add shoes separately to your outfit. At first we need a MetaHuman mesh we can fit the shoes on. Export the body mesh or the combined mesh from the Creator plugin, drag and drop it to the viewport and reset the position to 000. Now we need shoes. Depending on your modeling skills, you can either create your own or find some ready-made shoes to download. I prefer sketchfab.com for many, many free assets to choose from. For this tutorial, let's try this one. Even if it is just one shoe. Let's download the OBJ version. After downloading and extracting the zip file, it should look like this. Create a new folder and import the OBJ file you just downloaded from Sketchfab. Because I tried this a couple of times, I know we have to set the X rotation offset to 90 degree and the scale offset to 100. If you use a different mesh, you have to try out until you get the right orientation and scale. The material looks a bit weird in this case. The fastest way to fix this is to delete the imported material. Right click on the diffuse color texture and choose create material. Double click. Bring the normal map in and connect the RGB pin to the normal pin. Make the material two-sided and safe. Double-click the static mesh and assign the created material to the material slot. Now drag and drop the shoe to the viewport and reset its position to bring it close to the position of the metahuman. Align the shoe in location, scale and rotation to the metahuman's foot until there is no clipping through. Then align the bottom of the shoe to the ground level. Even if the bottom of the foot is clipping a little bit, we'll fix that later. Switch to the modeling mode. Select the model tab and click on mirror. Choose the forward axis and align the second shoe on the X axis until it fits. Then hit Accept. Next, select the X-Form tab. Choose Edit Pivot and click on World Origin and Accept. Now the position and rotation of our mesh is set to zero. To keep the scale changes we made but reset its scale to one, click on Bake Transform and Accept. If we now drag our created mesh from the content browser to the viewport and reset the position, it will fit perfectly. Now we can right-click on our static mesh and convert it to a skeletal mesh. For the creation type, use Existing Skeleton and select the MetaHuman Base Skeleton. Click Convert. Double-click on the new skeletal mesh. As you can see, these shoes have way too many triangles. If your shoe asset have more than 50k, you should also go to the Mesh tab and select Simplify to reduce the amount of triangles. In this case, I leave the default setting of 50%, hit Accept and now my triangle count is slightly below 50k. That's more than enough. Then go to the Skim tab and click Edit Weights. Drag and drop our previously exported combined MetaHuman Mesh to the Source Skeleton. 
and make sure to use LOD0. Hit Transfer Weights and then Accept. Save and close this tab. Finally, we can create our resizable wardrobe item. Now it comes to the exact same procedure as for the Metallica t-shirt we created in one of my previous tutorials. So I speed this part a little bit up to keep this video short. If you need a step-by-step -step guide, please watch the Metallica shirt tutorial part 2. Or slow down the playback rate on YouTube to see exactly what I have done. Finally, we can drag and drop the new MetaHuman wardrobe item to the Creator plugin. Double-click to add the shoes. Almost done. It works great, but you notice the feet are clipping slightly through the bottom of the shoes. Let's fix that. The wardrobe items can use a body-hidden face map to hide several parts of the body. But if you use multiple cloth assets with different maps, all maps will be layered on each other. So if the map on the shoes are hiding the feet, but the map on the shirt doesn't, it will not work. So choose one master wardrobe item and use only one body map on this one and leave everything else empty. I already created a body map for the default garment, where the feet are hidden too. Watch my cloth clipping tutorial and get a free tool I created to easily create these maps. If I turn the shoes off, you'll see the feet are gone. And also the clipping. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. Hope you like it and it was helpful. If you want more tutorials like this, just leave a comment. Cheers!